Welcome back, Carry On Calisthenics Athletes. And if you're new here, my name is Liam. I'm a calisthenics athlete, and I post content about my journey. And today, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna post about what I eat. So, before we get into that real quick, uh, I'm 5'8", I'm about 170 pounds. I fluctuate between 171 to 174. So, just a few months ago, I had hit this weight, but I noticed that I was gaining more fat than I was more comfortable with. So over those months, over that little period of time, I've been increasing my protein intake by about one gram of protein per pound of my own body weight. And so far, I've been seeing positive results both in uh, my physique and in my performance in the gym. So um, I feel like uh, I'm actually excited to share with you what I eat on a daily basis and how I still make gains without cooking or spending like an hour in the kitchen cooking for myself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so welcome to the Carry On Calisthenics Grocery Hall featuring my son. So wifey can give us the best possible angle uh, when it comes to looking at these foods. So starting off, we're gonna be uh, looking at breakfast. So just recently I had learned how to um, prepare eggs by myself. So recently, I've been eating a lot of eggs, and uh, usually I'll have about two or three of them, um, and I will just kind of eat them with a cereal, um, but if I eat them by themselves, it'll be just that. So they have a, um, they have a pretty decent amount of protein for just being you know, little eggs. Uh, moving on, we have the Kodiak cakes that recently I've been eating a lot of because I just I love the taste of these things. They have um, great protein, and I usually have two servings of the batter, so it comes out to about 28 grams of protein. Um, as we could take a look here, it's kind of calorically dense for this food, but um, when we take a look at the fats, it's, you know, it's, it's not like dense in unhealthy fats. So it's actually dense in uh, these carbs. And uh, like I said earlier, it's protein rich. So that's definitely a plus for me because um, I'm looking to consume about 170 grams of protein per day. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to make it without these pancakes. So um, I actually plan, since I love the um, flapjack mix so much, I plan on trying the muffin mix pretty soon. I have yet to try them. However, I did just get a muffin tin. So uh, we're gonna go, uh, actually, I'm gonna talk about the taste or uh, if you have tasted them before, let me know in the comment section how you like them. And then um, hopefully I can get a better idea of it. 15 grams of protein, excellent. Fats aren't looking so bad. Um, same thing with the carbs, rich in carbs. And that's that's gonna be good for my daily intake. So as I, as I mentioned earlier with this cereal, this is probably my new favorite cereal when it comes to making gains. Cause look, they got the fat little um, 10 grams of protein right here. It's advertising right here in the front of the box as well. Got a whole bunch of grains in there. And if you actually uh, look at the calories in this, it's actually kind of dense for um, what a serving is. However, it's actually um, rich in carbs. Again, that's um, the foods that I look for is um, carbs and protein rich. And I usually um, worry about the other nutrients later, as long as they're not overwhelmingly um, blotting out the, the good macronutrients. And here we move on to my favorite milk of all time, which is the Fairlife 2% Ultra Filtered Milk. This, um, this brand has grown on me because I used to drink regular milk a lot, but I noticed that the protein wasn't very high and the sugars were just up there with uh, regular milk. So um, I recently uh, saw, or actually no, I saw an advertisement 
about this type of milk, I said a couple of years ago. And after that, I, I tried it, I fell in love and it's helping me hit my goals for a long, long time. So I hope I get sponsored by them someday. Fair life if you're watching. And next we're gonna move on to lunch. Oh, my favorite lunch dishes. So um, it's always, I'm always gonna have this Uncle Ben's ready rice whole grain brown that's always gonna be my go-to. It's easy to make, easy to prepare, it doesn't take long at all. Um, after microwave it, I usually throw it in a pan. Um, and it's it actually has a lot of calories for the pouch, it has a decent amount of calories for half the pouch. And um, actually, well, I mean, I usually eat the entire pouch along with uh, six ounces of chicken, which I'll get into in a little bit. But uh, as we can see here, it has a little bonus of protein right here, which is excellent. Um, very, very rich in carbs and um, not a lot of sugars, barely any. And surprisingly, when I first picked this packet up, it barely had any sodium, which I was very impressed with. So that's gonna be my go-to. That's my favorite source of carbs. Moving on to the chicken. So um, these grilled strips have been pretty good for me so far. It's, this is my lean meat that I usually fix with the rice over there is 110 calories, 22 grams of protein, perfect. Um, let's take a look at the serving here real quick. So three ounces um, is 22 grams protein. So I'll usually put in six ounces instead of just three. Maybe if I'm feeling, you know, strong that day, I'll feel or I'll put in a nine. So moving on from that, we have some grilled chicken breasts over here, which. I eat somewhat often. I do usually like my chicken um, shredded or in strips. However, um, this is wifey's favorite source of lean meat, or one of her favorites, I should say. And um, let's take a look at these little facts real quick. 19 grams, perfect. You know, not very high in carbohydrates, which is fine because we're looking for lean meat. And uh, that's about it on that one, do some taste. So let's move on to my alternative source of carbohydrates, which are, which tend to be the noodles, the very cheap noodles that are under a dollar for a box. Um, so as you can see here, somewhat dense in calories, low fats, zero, 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 and very rich in carbohydrates, which is what I love because uh, based on my goals, I'm looking at about 350 grams of carbs a day. And as a little bonus right here, seven grams of protein. I usually have two servings of this, 14 grams of protein with whatever meat, protein all around. Alternative source of noodles, just to kind of switch up the variety. Um, this, uh, sometimes I eat this, but this is mainly wifey source of carbohydrates. Uh, same thing, same nutrients, shouldn't be much different. Uh, next, we got some, some lean ground beef here, uh, which I usually tend to get the lean, the most lean, uh, so I can get more protein out of it and less fat. Um, so as I focus on the proteins, I notice it keeps me more full throughout the day, and it, it gives me um, a lot of a lot of slack when it comes to leaving out the other nutrients like sugar and um, sodium and fats. <laughs> so um, next, we got some frozen vegetables here. You know, uh, nothing too fancy, but you can never go wrong with mixing vegetables in the rice um, or whatever uh, lean meat that you'll have it with. Got two bags of them over there. These are, this is the can of corn that I usually um, have. Uh, if I want to switch up my carbs, if I'm maybe getting kind of, you know, used to the rice, maybe I'll, I'll throw some corn in there and I'll always add an egg in there um, to the mix just for a little extra more boost of protein. And uh, this is also um, dinner, if I didn't mention that before, because honestly, I tend to just switch between whatever combinations that I have in here. Um, for lunch and dinner because I do not get tired of them. And I just recently um, added this into um, our groceries. 
and I want to try them with eggs because potatoes sound delicious. And if we take a look at these little facts right here, the nutrients are looking great. Zero, zero, zero. Um, slight sodium in there, which is perfect. Carbohydrates, moderate over there. And proteins, the two grams counts for something. Definitely gonna work out. So, um, since we just completed the lunch and dinner portion, we're gonna move on to our snacks. All right, so moving on to the last portion of the grocery haul. Um, we got different types of snacks and little fixings that you can, uh, or that we prepare for ourselves when we have a little bit of excess calories left over, um, or when we just don't really feel like preparing something and it still has somewhat of nutrient value to us. So for example, um, the wife will sometimes pick up, you know, she'll pick up an apple and she'll eat it with the sun uh, butter right here that you see. Let's take a quick look at it. You know, it's dense, uh, slightly dense in the calories, so it can keep her full, uh, it can keep her satisfied. Seven grams of protein, I'm liking it right there. Um, also, uh, when we make PB&Js, because we tend to kind of often, uh, we look for we look for alternatives, and if we don't have alternatives, we'll just um, make the portion size smaller, so then we can um, not accumulate so many grams of uh, unwanted sugars. So for a good example here is a nice little sugar-free one. Um, mix that in with a bagel or whatever type of bread that we have in front of us, and it can save us um, the grams of sugar in at that time. So. For example, um, here, um, this is not an alternative. However, um, I do not tend to eat a lot of grams of sugars pretty often. So as long as I can fit in um, and it's an appropriate level, or excuse me, an amount of sugar, I can definitely put that into my diet because ain't no one out there saying that um, you are, your body rejects sugar. So. Um, here is my favorite protein, excuse me, peanut butter. Um, seven grams of protein right there, super chunk, uh, just like my son. And uh, we have the calories right here, slightly dense, more on the dense side. Definitely the fats are up there, but it is coming from a peanut. So that explains that. Uh, definitely will keep me satisfied, especially with uh, my new favorite bagel from Dave's Killer Bread. Got a whole bunch of grains in there, a lot of good stuff, plain awesome bagel, organic, plus, plus, plus. No high fructose corn syrup, perfect, because I don't want to keep eating when I, uh, my body's full. Um, all these, you know, little super grains apparently in there. And it is on the denser side, which is perfect for me because my meals, uh, my meals tend to be about 450, to 700 calories on average. And um, this is a great way to kind of um, get my uh, calorie number up there and especially fit in some more proteins like I was mentioning earlier and uh, definitely a lot more carbs into uh, my meals if um, my uh, macros for the day find it appropriate. And talking about alternative snacks, uh, steering away from the regular potato chip just to uh, save me grams of fat throughout my day. Um, let's go ahead and take a look real quick. 140, decent amount. Fats are definitely cut down from your average um, potato chip bag, as it says right up there. Uh, Sun chips, please sponsor me because I've been eating you and I like them. And um, the carbohydrates right here. You know, not they're not like full in carbohydrates, but they have a nice little amount um, to kind of fill in whatever I may be missing for that day. And two grams of protein because we have to have some type of protein, right? Next, this is the wifey's, one of her favorite snacks. Um, the pistachios I personally find disgusting. Let's find them. Um, the 150 calories right here, you know, fats because of what type of, um, you know, food it is, um, or like nut, I should say. And then 
uh, you know, the carbs are actually kind of low to my surprise. I thought they would be much higher. Sugars, two grams, perfect. And some fiber in there. Um, just to get the digestion moving it is all good in my eyes. So six grams of protein just to keep you more full throughout the day, kind of avoid the snacking temptation. And um, last one right here, just another version of healthy fats, lower sodium, because you want to save yourself um, the milligrams of unwanted sodium, especially if you're eating like me, where I tend to eat frozen uh, meats. So um, that can actually kind of climb on the sodium milligram chart. So whenever you can save um, a type of bad nutrient, then you know always uh, never be hesitant to uh, save yourself uh, those milligrams. So talking about alternatives, um, Halo Top is a nice little alternative to you know a treat because I think it's very. Um, I think it's it's nice to kind of uh, get that uh, nice little uh, cheap kind of feeling thing. However, it's an alternative. So for me personally, it feels like it's rewarding and enjoyable at the same time. Not saying that none of the food on this table is not enjoyable because they are. And I love these foods. We love these foods. Um, however, like sometimes when we're feeling on the little sweeter side, you know, we uh, will just turn to this. As an alternative in 330 calories in the entire pint is perfect because I've seen some other um, I've seen some other ice creams out there that like 330 calories is like one serving so entire pint can definitely be disastrous when we're talking about ice cream um, it can come up to like 1200 calories so you know these are nice and these a perfect way to kind of enjoy ourselves. Um, I got some corn nuts right here. Uh, these are one of my favorite snacks if I want to turn, or if I feel like eating, you know, kind of chips or something like that, I'll just turn to corn nuts because um, it's, it tends to be a lot better and has less fat than even my favorite um, sun chips. So that right there is uh, perfect for my diet. And one, uh, the last one right here is a little alternative to the regular flavored milk. Um, like I said before, anytime you can, you know, kind of seize the opportunity on saving yourself grams of sugar, something that you think you tend to be high on, you can definitely always look for other choices out there that can save you those grams. Cool. So that's a. That's the grocery haul right there. I hope you guys have some good ideas. You can incorporate, um, you know, some foods of these into your routine. Definitely think about like always making a um, a alternative choice to uh, the regular things that tend to be dense in um, fats and things like that. Always try to find different options out there and always, always make sure your foods and meals are enjoyable while you pursue your fitness goals because there's no point in pursuing your goals when you don't even like what you eat so uh thanks for watching thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video again feedback thoughts questions anything just go ahead and leave them in the comments i'll be sure to make another video soon and i'll catch you in the next one